Hello everybody, and welcome to another game news roundup. We've got some more not good news. This has been the year of the last couple years. It's something like 10, no, 20,000 people in the gaming industry have been laid off over the last couple years, and a lot of companies aren't really hiring either. Well, we're not done with layoffs. It's actually been quiet. We've actually had a slow, a lull in the amount of layoffs. Like here and there, little layoffs here and there, nothing crazy. And now we've got Ballistic Moon, the developer who's working on the, I think PlayStation call it the enhanced version of Until Dawn. I guess kind of like a remaster of Until Dawn. Or whatever. Uh, yeah, they announced um, they've been hit with layoffs. Now, if you don't know, if you don't realize, the enhanced version of Until Dawn is not out yet. It doesn't drop until October 4th. The game is not even out yet, and the developer has been hit with layoffs. So yeah, the game comes out on the PS5 and PC on October 4th. So yeah, a uh, post from Ballistic Moon on LinkedIn reads, As the games industry continues to face complex challenges, we at Ballistic Moon are confronted with some difficult realities. It is with deep regret and a heavy heart that we must make the tough decision to significantly scale down our team to secure the future of our studio. This comes after our development of Until Dawn for PS5 and PC. Exactly. So it just sounds like the development of the enhanced version of Until Dawn is pretty much done, but the studio is being hit with significant layoffs, significantly scaling down. What does that mean? They don't say specifically um, how many have been laid off. Let's open up here. Uh, on their studio page on LinkedIn. Yeah, no, I'm not signed in. Uh, we don't know how many employees are there. It's got, it says anywhere from 51 to 200 employees currently. Uh, and we'll see how many are end up being laid off. As always, um, I hope anyone who is affected by layoffs at Ballistic Motor, any studio or any job in reality, are, is able to find new work as quickly as possible. Um... Yeah, and best best of luck. And hopefully, there's at least decent a decent severance package. Some companies are better with that than others. Um, so yeah, the uh, post on LinkedIn continues. Uh, we want to express our sincere gratitude to every team member for their hard work, dedication, and unwavering commitment to Ballistic Moon. Except they're playing significant amount of their studio off. Saying goodbye to such saying goodbye to such a talent and passionate group of people. Is incredibly difficult, and we are profoundly sorry for the impact this restructuring will have on our employees and their families. As we navigate this transition, Ballistic Moon remains focused on supporting the launch of Until Dawn and is committed to exploring new opportunities and collaborations for the future. What I don't understand, right? This is a studio, I'm pretty sure, right? The third party. They're not owned by PlayStation or whatever. Um, they're working, clearly, they're working with PlayStation on this enhanced version of Until Dawn. Why are they doing these layoffs before this come out? Do they just expect the game to not sell well enough to bring in good money? Or is it that Sony just... Maybe Sony just hired them and is paying them for that, but they're not going to get a cut of the profits? I don't know, like, why they would do these layoffs before the game is out, because the game could come out and be a huge... I mean, not a huge success, but a decent enough of a success, especially since it's not coming to PC now, I believe, for the first time. Um, and obviously, I think it's because it was just a PS4 war game originally i think maybe ps3 i can't remember how old it is um but yeah you think they would wait until see how well it does and how much money it brings in and then maybe do a layoffs i don't know but i just thought this was something i should cover i know we've i've covered so much about gaming layoffs of late whether it's the huge layoffs at xbox mainland activision blizzard was like 1800 employees or something crazy the Hundreds laid off at Bungie. The, what, nearly a thousand at PlayStation laid off. And then Xbox closing studios. PlayStation has closed some studios. Nintendo has not done any layoffs. Go figure. Nintendo, um, actually, as I mentioned before, um, in previous videos, um, Nintendo has Nintendo. During the Wii U era, they were not doing that good. Luckily, one, they had a good amount of money saved up in the bank to help cover things. But, the CEO and other executives at Nintendo took a big, huge pay cut and took no bonuses during the Wii U era to make sure no one was laid off. 
It's crazy because you think of like you. Of course, there's a they are a Japanese company. That's a big difference. Versus like some of these American companies where they're like, yeah, let's just do, let's save money by laying off thousands of employees. Oh, and you know, what? let me just give myself a twenty million dollar bonus. That twenty million dollars could have saved a thousand jobs for a, a couple years. Like, I I just feel like I just couldn't do that on a good conscience. Like, if I was an executive, like, no, no, I want to take a pay cut for myself to try to save as many other jobs as I possibly could. You know, some of these executives, they make millions and millions of dollars. Tens of millions of dollars. I mean, obviously, the, the top dogs make billions, but, you know, that's only that's only so many. I, it's just, uh, I just don't like seeing all these layoffs. It's just not good. I, I realize a lot of it is because during the pandemic, people were home, sales of games were going through the roof, things were going really well. The companies were like, oh, this will continue. And then, of course, it didn't continue. I mean, the gaming sales are still good. They're just not quite as good as they were under the pandemic years. And now well, we're seeing all these layoffs over the last couple years. Hopefully things are winding down with layoffs and we'll hopefully start seeing more and more companies starting to hire. It's just been sad. But anyways, I thought I'd go over this. If you enjoyed it, as always, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. And yeah, let me know how you feel about this stuff in the comment section down below. Otherwise, yeah, I'll see you all next time.